Hey guys, this is Miss Braun. Today we're going to do our lesson online so you can watch this video for what we're doing on Thursday, week four. The first thing we're going to do is read these two pages from Save the Ocean and Life on the Blue Planet. While we're reading, I want you to look for the words hatchling and juvenile because we're going to add those to our glossary. First, let's look at taking care of babies. Building shelter. Some marine animals protect their babies by building nests or dens. These shelters hide eggs or babies from predators and keep them warm. Female sea turtles crawl onto a beach when they are ready to lay their eggs. They dig a nest the size of their own body and lay their eggs in it. Then they use their flippers to cover the eggs with sand. The sand holds in the heat so the eggs stay warm. It also hides a nest from predators. Mother sea turtles do not stay with their eggs, so the nest is the baby's only protection. And then I see life of a sea turtle right here. We have egg, baby, young adult, adult. Looking at life cycles again, the stages living things go through during a life is called a life cycle. As animals grow, there can be new challenges, staying alive, finding food, and raising babies. Many marine animals have amazing adaptations to help them during these different stages. Life cycle of a sea turtle. Egg, hatchling, juvenile, adult. So I see my two vocabulary words in my diagram hatchling and juvenile. If I look at my picture, I can tell that the hatchling is when an animal is coming out of an egg and a juvenile must mean a young animal, like a kid. So let's go ahead and add that to our glossary. So get out your glossary or turn to the back and let's add these words. Hatchling, juvenile, and as you can see, we can put the definitions based on the picture. Hatchling, when an animal comes out of an egg, juvenile, a young animal slash a kid animal. So go ahead and take a few minutes to write these definitions in your glossary. You can press pause if you need more time to write them. All right, good job. We're going to move on. So we've been learning about life cycles. And yesterday we learned about a polar bear. Today we learned about a sea turtles. And we've also put in our books and or on a blank sheet of paper about our own animal life cycle. Let's watch the sea turtles hatch to discover their life cycle. Turtles are magnificent creatures. It is estimated that out of a thousand hatchings, only one survives. Other turtles or nesting females are able to locate the beaches where they are born using the beach signature. That's how the waves hit on the sand and the rocks. When you witness the turtle hatching, that struggle to move out of the nest, the first few tentative crawls, climbing over mounds of sand that are very small, but then for them they seem like mountains. 
the mud rush going towards the sea gives you an idea of what it is really to start life. For them, it's starting with struggle. It's fraught with danger. It's truly humbling because it tells you that nature has got its own way of doing things that as human beings you may not fully understand. The work that WWF has been doing here is changing the way people perceive sea turtle for the positive. And it gives you hope that one day you're going to see them come back to us. So that was a video of the sea turtles when they have to hatch as hatchlings from eggs and they crawl to the ocean on their own. All right, so now you're going to go ahead and you're going to finish your life cycle about your animal. Okay, so you can go and you can look at the example of the sea turtle, but go ahead and finish your life cycle of your animal that we started yesterday. So you're going to draw a picture and label what your animal looks like at birth, immature, meaning like growing up, a kid, and an adult. Also fill in your average lifespan. If you don't finish this, we're, we can finish this on Monday in a small group. So go ahead and pause the video and work on your life cycle that we started yesterday. Next, we're going to answer this question together. It says, write to explain how a sea turtle's life cycle is different from a polar bear's life cycle. Consider both animals' classification when comparing. Use both graphic organizer we've completed to support your answer. So if we go back up and we look at the turtle's life cycle, I notice it's egg, hatchling, juvenile, adult. And if we go back and look at a polar bear's life cycle, Let's see what the difference is. So yesterday we learned about polar bear's life cycle. A polar bear life cycle is newborn, three month old, two year old, mature. So the main difference I see is that <clears throat> sea turtles come out of eggs, then are hatchlings, and then become a baby sea turtle because they're reptiles, whereas polar bears are mammals, so they give live birth and they just come out as a newborn. So everyone get out a piece of paper and we're going to write that down. So the question asks, what's the difference between the life cycle of a polar bear and a sea turtle? The polar bear's life cycle starts with a live birth, the sea turtle's life cycle starts with an egg. That is the main difference because a polar bear is a mammal and a sea turtle is a reptile. So go ahead and write those sentences or put it in your own words on a blank sheet of paper. Remember you can pause the video if you need extra time to write it. All right, we're gonna move on. Remember, we're on Thursday. All right, remember you can go add to your wow chart if you learned anything interesting today so far about polar bears or sea turtles or life cycles or anything that you've read. 
you can add to your wow chart for one of your facts. Don't forget for your homework, you'll need to go read on your own. While you're reading, try to look for words that maybe you don't know and you can chunk it to read it. All right, next we're gonna work on our word work. Today for word work, we're gonna practice three syllable words. Remember the syllable is how many times your chin drops or how many times you clap when you say the word. So if I look at the word reaction and I say it, my chin drops three times. Reaction. I can also clap it. Reaction. So it's three syllables. When I look at the suffix, shun, like we've been working on, I can circle that to show that that's a syllable. Let's look at this list of words and read it. Reaction, reaction, protection, protection, communication, communication, information, information, nutrition, nutrition, population, population, action, action, organization, organization, exception, exception, adaptation, adaptation, extinction, extinction, pollution, pollution, migration, migration, mutation, mutation, coloration, coloration, generation, generation, echolocation, echolocation, condition, condition, Solution, solution, suction, suction. Now we're gonna practice finding out how many syllables each of these have. <clears throat> Let's look at the first word, protection. Protection, that has three syllables. Communication, communicate. Shun. That has five. Information. Information. I clap four times. Nutrition. Nutrition. There's three syllables because I clapped three times. Population. Pop. Population. I clap four times, so there's four syllables. Action. Action. I clap two times, so there's two syllables. Organization. Organization. That one's long. Organization. That also has five syllables, like communication does. Exception, exception. I clap three times. Adaptation, adaptation. I clap four times. Extinction, extinction. I clap three times. Pollution, pollution. Also three syllables. Migration, migration, also has three syllables. Mutation, mutation, that has three syllables. Coloration, coloration, I clap four times, so that has four syllables. Generation, I clap four times, so that also has four syllables.